Hello everyone. I'm Emily. And I'm Jerry and welcome to, or thank you for coming back, to Traveling with Em and, and me. So today we are at the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin. We'll show you the room, we will show you the grounds, and we will tell you whether we think this is a place that you should come to. And bring your family, or if it's kind of like an adult thing, or what you got. Yep, so stay tuned. This is what you see when you first walk in and it is incredible oh yeah those crystals with the way the light hits them it's absolutely beautiful so our bedroom we had a king in a king room with a balcony and we'll get into the story of how we got the balcony <laughs> but the room was great oh yeah the bed is super comfortable i mean view, you got like palm just... trees right out right in front of your your bed there yeah it's absolutely amazing very the, tropical feel yeah the amount of windows in there was just it was so nice and uh yeah the the only thing is it didn't have a fridge which i thought was yeah because we do pack a lot of our foods and stuff to eat in the room to save a little money and um Luckily, we have a good cooler, though, that kept our stuff cool. Back. Yeah, so here's just kind of an overview. It's not an incredibly big room, but there was enough space um, for Emily and I. And then next, well, the bathroom The bathroom was good. Uh, I, there's a little shelf on the side, which was real nice. You don't really see in the video here. And then um, the, the shower was excellent. Oh, yeah, so it also had the markers to let you know which side was hot and cold, which I appreciate because I tend to mess that up at hotels. So um, that was nice. <laughs> and so here is our first balcony, and the, it, is, it was just really nice. Like the views you have, um, you can see so much of uh, the other resorts and in the park. You can get a little bit of view of Epcot over there. You can see the Eiffel Tower a little bit. And then you get a beautiful view of the swan portion of the hotel as well. So yeah. it just looks super nice. It was just a beautiful day too. And then we had a second balcony, which I don't think we, I've never been in a place with two balconies. Maybe maybe a North Beach, but um so oh, no. yeah, so <laughs> um from this one, um you got I mean you got those huge palms. How nice is that? And then you can see um these little swan uh boats awesome yes little paddle boats to go through their little pond and area. there is a quick little view of the tower of terror from our uh, hotel room how great is that and at night they do um some really pretty lighting down in the walkway that connects the dolphin to the swan you can kind of see the light starting to change and it's just like a and we had a pretty little light show of it from just the balcony of our room which was really neat to get to see yeah just and like i said the, the light switched all the time so it was great so here's just a little of the grounds itself. The, bu the building is obviously huge. Like, I mean, I've seen this building, or I've seen the dolphin years. I mean, it's hard not to see when you're driving around Disney. So I've just been always been like, I wonder what it's like to stay there. Um, yeah, it's a hard one to miss from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. And once again, the, the dolphin paddle boats, or dolphin, the swan uh, paddle boats were out. And I definitely that's something I would like to do in the future. Uh, and you might have to do other paddling. I might. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um there's so there's a walkway connecting the swan and the dolphin um it, which is uh, and so you have access to grounds to the pools and things at both which is nice no matter which one you stay at so you can um access both properties easily yeah it, hello again <laughs> <laughs> um so th what's awesome about the dolphin and swan is you have so many different ways to get to the park so you can take this boat here which will take you to epcot um, and the walk, and you can walk to Epcot and Hollywood Studios too. But I, the walk is a good little hike. It's, not, it's a hike, yeah. yeah. Um, they have the, obviously buses. We, we weren't sure when we were first here if you could get a, take a bus to the parks, but you can. To all the parks. All the parks, great, yes. Park. And then once again, um, people doing the. Uh, he very much swan. likes the swan. Boats. I do very much. <laughs> I'm going to do these one day. The pools are fantastic. Oh yeah, so this is a nice pool, but like. The pools just seemed to get better as we kept walking, which was amazing. <laughs> that is crazy. 
Look how big, this is the biggest thing I've ever seen, biggest hot tub I've ever seen ever. I've never seen a hot tub that size. Never. I don't even like hot tubs, but I'd get in this one. <laughs> So their big main pool is this grotto waterfall pool area. And it is, as this video doesn't even do it justice on how pretty it really is. Um, the waterfall is beautiful. I could spend literally all day at just this pool. Oh yeah, and then they have a water slot I kind of want to go down to. Cause <laughs> wanna, yeah, wanna so I would that. suggest if, if you do come here, get out there early. Because I, I can imagine this place is being packed really quick. Real quick, yeah. I love just the grounds at all the Disney places, and they do such a good work with it. So, and it, this place is uh, no exception. No to exception. That. Yes, they have all kinds of neat little shops, um, and and the Accents place is kind of unique to uh, the the Dolphin here. So they carry Lily Pulitzer, which if you've seen any of our videos, you know that I have a small obsession and you, with. <laughs> and you're not finding that at any of really the other Disney resorts. No, I haven't ever seen it, so it's it was a nice little surprise. Um, and then they also have like your Typical, you know, qu get your quick little snacks, your little merchandise area here, t-shirts, all that too. Of all fun things, Disney. And then they have these really awesome ears that I feel like I'm going to need to go back and get. Those are awesome. Um, like I said, more of the snack things. And they got um, some toys and the, the plushes for if you got your little ones with you on this trip. Fun little stop in. Oh, yeah. And the best snack at any Disney place is the cheese popcorn. I don't care what anyone it's says. It's the gummies, but okay. <laughs> um, this quick service place fuel, one of the best ones, maybe the best one I've been at any Disney resort. Yeah, they have it all. Like, they literally it, all. They got every little snack thing and, and, and small food item. And we got a pizza from their little cook line there. It, it was delicious. Oh, it's an absolutely amazing pizza. <laughs> yeah, and it was only like 14 bucks. The price was decent, too. And who loves off candy? Yes. <laughs> and like I said... All the little small snack items, drinks, you, you could easily eat your meals here and be fine. And then another beautiful chocolate sculpture that um, I think looks delicious. It's yeah, the whole up. thing's made of chocolate. How cool is that? And it does fuel the soul. <laughs> they got this really cool bar area, too, so those people who are, like, hanging For out at the bar. Yeah. things like that. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And then they got, like, super nice restaurants, like Shula's a steak, uh, Shula's restaurant, a steak place. Nice. Yeah, we didn't eat there, but I it looks upscale. Yes. We heard nice. One of the best features. There's a lot of good features, actually. Okay. One of the best features of uh, the Disney, Dis Swan and Dolphin. Disney World Swan and Dolphin, in our hotel is right here. Is you can walk in, in and out of Epcot, which is fantastic. You know, for Hollywood Studio too. And Hollywood Studio, you're correct. So uh, if you're looking, trying to decide where to stay. The ability to, and you got, you got, you got Yacht Club, Beach Club, right here. Like this, this location is fantastic, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna talk about things we liked or loved about the Disney World Swan and Dolphin and a few minor things we didn't like. <laughs> so we'll go with the dislikes here first, uh, or minor dislikes. Because there are much less of those than there yes. are of our likes. <laughs> um, so our first one is, be ready to walk for eternity. You're going to get your steps in. <laughs> yeah, um, it's lots of steps. So the parking lot, it just seems so far. It's, I kind of timed it this morning. It's lit from our par where we parked to get into our hotel room. It was about a little over a thousand steps, just, just in one direction. And, but this is typical of a lot of the Disney resorts. Um, you park, you're not parking right up next to where your, your door is of your room. And then your room could literally be, you know, you have a good almost quarter mile walk to get to your room in the hallways because these places are huge. So just just know if you got a lot of luggage, they do have valet service and, and, and they can take your luggage to your room, but obviously that's gonna cost a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. Just be prepared to do some walking. Pack a power aid and like a cliff bar and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so number two of our kind of minor dislikes is just not having a fridge here and I mean, in the room. We brought you know, we brought drinks, we brought some food with us. Um and you, we always do, and we've always had a fridge and so because um like we just like to have snacks and stuff available in the room so we're not spending a fortune on like vending and stuff and so i guess we have a good cooler so it was all okay but it's still nice to have a fridge to make sure that everything does stay cool yeah so you just just know that going in all right our third thing our third kind of minor dislike is um it's not a true disney resort so marriott actually owns the walt disney uh, swan and dolphin um so with that being said there obviously is disney like you'll see mickey and Minnie paraphernalia type things yeah, around shop and stuff. but um you're gonna see very kind of little of it 
the Disney fraps and frills that they have at the other resorts, like this room has nothing in it that lets you know that this is a Disney room. Like you guys saw from the video, there was nothing Mickey or Disney-esque inside this room. And I don't think a lot of people know that. I mean, Disney does not own this place. It is a Marriott place. So just... I didn't know that. Yeah. So going in, just know that it you're not going to be immersed in the Disney, in the Disney magic experience. as you would at some of the other true Disney resorts. All right. So let's get to the really good things about this place. Uh, number one, we just absolutely love it. Oh yeah, gosh yeah. I mean, the room was super nice. The bed is comfortable. The shower was great. Yeah, so let's just talk about the room itself. Yeah, like, yeah. She, like she said, the bed is super comfortable. Yeah. The shower is awesome. Um, yes. Now, we will say our this wasn't our original room. <laughs> it was not. So we had gotten a deal off Expedia, and um, and so when we walked in to uh, you know check in and stuff, they're like, "You want to upgrade to like a room with a resort view or a balcony?" And I'm like, "Oh, sure, you know, resort view would be cool." And so um, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna put the picture right now of what our resort view looked like. Uh, yeah, so we didn't see any resorts, and so <laughs> we saw a roof. <laughs> roof, yeah. So I walked back down there, real nice about it, and they changed this into a balcony room. And so you can see how nice this this room was. Oh yeah, it's um, not there isn't a um, not a whole lot of rooms with balcony views. Mm -hmm. um, I would highly recommend though if you are staying here to get a, a balcony view room because it is it's, it's been, absolutely worth it's it. It's been really nice. Yeah. All right, our second favorite. I would I would say a love. Our second love. Oh, our, this is a love. The location is almost unbeatable. Oh yeah, like I best location of any hotel on any Disney ground or random hotel. You're, that you're literally in the middle of everything. There's some resorts you're going to stay at, like Coronado, for instance, where you, you got like a 20 minute drive to just, or 30 minute bus ride to get to some of the, the parks and stuff. This is uh, the Disney World of Swan Dolphin is located right in the middle of everything. Like I said, you can walk, you can walk mm -hmm. to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Um, Magic Kingdom, it's about a 10, 15 minute ride from here. And that Animal Kingdom, which is probably our least favorite of all the parks, is about 15 minutes. So, but you are in, you're about five minutes from um, Disney Springs. So you are in the middle of everything. And the location is... It's just unbeatable. It's, it's fantastic. It's absolutely unbeatable. Yes. Our, our number three, our like love, is the food uh, options you have here is is awesome oh yeah you can go real upscale like real upscale and real nice if you want to we we met a couple on the bus who did go actually to shula steakhouse and they were saying it's about fifty dollars a meal mm -hmm. so obviously it's a steakhouse and that's the pretty decent price actually if you if you go to steakhouses but then we went to the fuel place and we we got a pizza for 15 we got bucks. a 15 dollar pizza that it was a great pizza and they had pre-made sandwiches and salads and sisters so like if you're exhausted after the park and you just don't want to shower and like get dressed up to go somewhere like that little fuel place that's amazing like everything is this, kind of pre-done this morning when i was walking to bring some stuff to the car packed with people getting breakfast there oh i'm sure yeah yeah it is um and like i said because this isn't a true disney place i guess maybe they have more options of things they can throw in there than maybe the, the true disney resorts that's yeah so I, I mean i don't know for sure but it's just when you get here, if you've been to other, the Disney, the true Disney you'll resorts, you'll you'll see the difference. So yeah. the food food options, you don't have to worry about leaving here if you don't want to for food stuff. No, you can, like we said, you can go from the very tip top to just kind of grunging it in your room if you want yeah. to. Our, our fourth like love, I think this is number four. Yeah, I think it's a love. Um, this is a love. love. Um, it's all the different ways you can get to the parks. You literally have every option available. You can walk. Mm -hmm. You can take, take the butts. Take a butts. <laughs> a a, a butas. <laughs> <laughs> you can take you can take a boat like she said um you can take the boat goes to Ep epcot. epcot um and you can also take the buses which i'm with it i knew this wasn't a true uh disney resort so i wasn't sure going in if the buses ran here or not but yes you can take the buses um and then um obviously you can dr obviously drive to all the places so and um, if you drive take your room key because then you don't have to pay for parking at the parks yeah so. the only one only option you don't have is um the gondolas just because you know the gondolas don't go directly here they're really yeah. close but they're they're not going to drop you off right at the resort yes yeah, so that's the only travel option you don't have to get to yeah. the parks which is pretty sweet yeah our, our number five, and we, just because we had a little shorter stay, we weren't able to really partake in this, but we know we love it, is oh, yeah. the pool areas are, and they have a, even a beach area too. They do, yeah, they have a beach area. You can't get it. in the water. but oh, you, yeah, I wouldn't highly recommend that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then they're not going to let you either. But anyways, the pools look 
fantastic. Oh yeah, and they had a lot of chairs out, and so it didn't look like it would be that hard to get a spot by the pool either, which is sometimes a difficult thing to do. So that was really nice. Too. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah. Overall, I absolutely love this. I've been. I have stayed at Bay Lake and uh, Coronado and Saratoga. Um, pop. pop um, uh, some of the other ones I can't remember off the top of my head. The Disney World Swan and Dolphin is my favorite right now Disney Resort to stay at on grounds right now. Oh yeah, I mean it's truly been an amazing, amazing stay all the way around. Like I have been very happy with all of it. Like yes, all I, of it. And the prices, like we were able to get the the room, we got the room at a really good price on Expedia. So um, the prices are not crazy like mm -hmm. some of the other, you know, some of the ones here. You're looking at five, six, seven hundred dollars a night, and this is no this. We got this for nowhere near, near that. nowhere <laughs> no, near no, no, it. No. So um, we cannot recommend the Disney World Swan, Swan and Dolphin, Dolphin enough. enough. Like, so if you haven't been, we highly recommend it. If you have been, we are certain that you loved it as much as we have. Yeah. And if you've been here before and we left something out, because we might have, this is a huge place. Yeah. Just leave it down in the comments below for other people who may be checking this video out and try and make decisions on stuff yeah. too. So, Please. all right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.